You might be more talented than I am. You might be taller or stronger, but you're never gonna work harder than I do. His weight room workouts are hardcore. Ugh. And it puts pressure on defensive linemen. We have to go a couple of racks down just to save face. You know, if there's a punter working out with 80s, there's a D lineman like, man, I've got to work out with 120s or 130s. He's a guy that works very, very hard at his trade. He conditions all year round, but he's in, he's in great, great football playing shape. Steve Weatherford's work ethic can be traced back to his high school days in Terre Haute, Indiana. I played football, basketball, track, and soccer. My dad always jokes with me that I was the jack of all trades and the master of none. I was pretty good at all the sports that I played, but I wasn't extraordinarily excellent at any of them. At the University of Illinois, Weatherford participated in football and track. The coach said, you know, you're a very good hurdler, but you're not the best on the team. You know, you high jump six foot ten, but it's not quite seven foot. So I said, well, why don't I try the decathlon? The decathlon is perfect for the jack of all trades. So I competed in that set of school record and really had a lot of fun with it because it was a good outlet for me to compete because in college, I didn't really get the athletic outlet of, man, I just punted the ball so much farther than Michigan State's punter. You know, it just, it, that wasn't the same for me. Once in the NFL, the jack of all trades became a master of moving. Being a punter, you're already at the bottom of the totem pole. And so I was like at the bottom of the bucket that was at the bottom of the totem pole. So I had to work for everything I got. I've been on like five different teams, and I've never been on a team longer than two and a half years. When Weatherford landed with the New York Jets in 2009, he was hoping the move was permanent. Good. Yeah. Oh, he's the best. I mean, he is a great guy, but he is a phenomenal athlete. First year we had him, he was faking punts all over the place. We were like five for five and converting fake punts. Weatherford on a fake. He runs up the middle of the field across the 25 to the 30. He's at the 40-yard line, and he slides down with a first down. We never called all of them. I think we claimed we did. I won the case. Rex is, is the type of guy that you, you want to pour it on the line for. You know, you want, you want to win for him because he's so good to you. Rex Ryan and Weatherford appreciated each other's humor. Really happy and proud to have the Shake Weight product. So I thought it'd be a really good idea to, to get every one of my teammates one of these. A couple demonstrations, if you will. <laughs> it's a little, very exhausting. You know what side of that? Here we go. There it is, right there. Though there were many good memories, the scariest moment of his career happened with the Jets. I'm warming up before the game. And then all of a sudden, it just kind of like a light switch, and my heart went up to over 200 beats a minute. I went into the locker room, told the doctors, something's not right. They hooked me up to a portable EKG machine, and as soon as they did that, their eyes got big. And then when they got nervous, then I got nervous. What's wrong with Steve Weatherford? I don't know what's wrong with him. So Jay Feely is going to punt. We're told that Weatherford is ill. Midway through the first quarter, our kicker goes out there and punts. It wasn't terrible. It was like a 32-yard punt, but it was a return like 15 yards. Playoff game, and we got Feely punt. And as soon as I saw that, you know, I ripped off all the electrodes off, you know, put my pads back on, ran out of the, the tunnel, went to the sideline, and said, I'm ready. I want to play. The general manager came up to me and said, there's no way you're getting on the field. It's not safe. And then I start to think, you know, what if this is a problem that we can't fix and my NFL career is over. That offseason, Weatherford had heart surgery and came back stronger than ever in 2010. Despite the successful season, the Jets decided not to re-sign him in 2011. I was more hurt than anything. I felt like I had such a good relationship with Rex. Hey, you gonna punt today or are you gonna take the day off? <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of like the girlfriend that breaks up with you. You know, you want to make her jealous. I figured the best place to do it was in their own backyard. I was comfortable in that stadium. I'd skipped around so much that I wanted a home, and I knew if I played well for them, they would give me what I wanted. In 2011, Weatherford averaged almost 46 yards per punt, a career high. And he had an important role in the Giants' Super Bowl run. As a defender, you know, he's our best friend. You know, he pins down offenses deep in their own territory. In the NFC Championship, he punted 12 times. But the most important play he made all day went almost unnoticed. Weatherford to hold, Diossi to snap, 
from 31 yards to put the Giants in the Super Bowl against the Patriots. I knew that uh, it was rainy, it was wet, it was windy. So I knew it kind of hinged on whether or not me and Zach could be perfect for Lawrence. Everybody set. Snap is low. Snap is low. Snap is low. Kick on its way. It's got the distance, and it is gone! We were able to get the snap down, get the ball through, and then after that happened, I kind of blacked out. I don't remember anything else. And the Giants in overtime have won the NFC Championship. Good evening, everyone, from Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, Indiana. It is Super Bowl 46. It was special because it was in my hometown, 47 miles from where I went to high school, where I grew up, where I was formed as an athlete and as a man. Weatherford in the punt. I'm looking at what yard line we're at. I'm kind of looking at where I want to put the ball because there's different ways I can do it. Uses the reverse spin and over end. But it was the Super Bowl and I was ready to gamble, so I went for it all. Bounds out to three, and the Giants are going to down it at about the five yard line. Weatherford's punt on the game's opening drive led to a safety, followed by a Giants touchdown, giving New York a nine to nothing lead. You know, that's as good as it gets for a punter. That's like hitting a game winner. He punted four times that day, with three of them landing inside the 20 as the Giants won another Super Bowl. First of all, I got to say, Steve, thank you for my ring. <laughs> I appreciate your contribution to our team. He has really done a nice job of developing it as a directional punter, as you saw in the, in the Super Bowl. During the offseason, Weatherford signed a five-year contract. In addition to punting, the Giants want to make sure he lives up to his nickname. So this season, the jack of all trades has been named the emergency quarterback behind Eli Manning and David Carr. I want to play long enough for my son to remember that his dad, you know, was special. I take him with me to work out. I want him to see me working hard. For him to be almost five years old and come down on the field, and the first thing he said to me, he's like, Daddy, we want it all. It was like a storybook ending, except for I'm not done yet. 